I could take a shot. <laughs> nice face, Jamal. Yeah, I know. I'm, pu I'm putting this on YouTube, just so you know. That's all right. I don't mind. I've been on YouTube like four times. Really? Yeah. One, it was like for dancing. The other three times, it was like me and James. We were sparring in Michael's backyard and shit. You, you, you can dance? Yeah, I, yeah, I got a little rhythm, but that video was just me goofing around. Because it was like a crazy-ass song. And I was like this bumping and I was doing crazy shit. I was spinning and I did a little Michael Jackson little kick thing or whatever. It was some goofy ass shit. You know. Nice. Just play play. It's funny though. I had like 500 like views from, but it was like pretty much 500 of the kids that was at the school. Yeah. And we had like a thousand kids at our school. So like shit, I was pretty popular. Nice. I was. Sixth grade, nobody. Oh, sixth grade, back back in the day, huh? Yeah, nobody. Nobody. They didn't want to know. Fuck. Huh? Fuck. <laughs> what happened? Nothing. Uh, I was in sixth grade, though. I had a fucking girl who was in the eighth grade. She was really fine. She was, we was like, real cool, though. We was, like, friends. But I liked her so much, too. Uh, this shit was fun. She was, like, Puerto Rican and Italian. Oh, she nice. Had curves. She had them curves, and then she had that little, she had that nice little attitude. But then at the same time, she was really nice. And me and her, we we always cracked jokes with each other. We was always you know chilling. That was like my homegirl. I really really liked her. She was so fine, yo. Remember Valentine's Day? Fucking got her um, a pink heart diamond necklace. Ooh, nice. With um, matching earrings. And like, dude, I was like, I showed it to a couple of girls, the black girls at the bus stop. They was so fucking mad, you know? <laughs> I was like, I don't care, that girl, she deserved this shit. You know, I thought, you know, you get your girl, you get a girl that you like something special. They don't like you, they don't want to be your girlfriend and shit. I still don't know how to, I still don't know how to, get, I still don't get girls pretty much, you know what I'm saying? Just don't get girls. Man. That's why some people go gay. Yep, that ain't day. Like some people, you know. Yeah. Like I don't know who, but. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> uh. I don't know, but I don't know. It's just some shit, you know what I'm saying? Just, yeah. But I really like that. That was like the first girl I really loved. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Not like the girl who fucked me at 11 years old, but you know. <laughs> I really loved that girl. Her name was Anna, and it's fucked up because I can't remember. I didn't, I didn't. She never told me. She never told me her last name. So I was like, damn. So every time I try to look up on Facebook, I find all these fucking girls whose name is Anna, and I'm like, fuck. I ain't got time for you looking at this. <laughs> this is just bullshit. So I kind of just stopped trying. It. Yeah. yeah, man. It's hard. You had a real good crush on a girl. Man. Uh, fucking girl who took your heart because she, yeah, she, uh, she went there. I don't know. I think last time I talked to her, she was like, she's going to Orlando or some shit. I was like, what? She's like, she's going to Orlando. I was like, what? To live? Yeah, yeah, I guess so. Dang, man. She was like, she wanted to be a model. And her mom, I think her mom had got a job there or some shit. I don't know. That's like bullshit. White people bullshit. <laughs> White people bullshit. Jamal, it's getting so dark I can barely see you on the camera. I, I'm black. I'm black. I literally, I take terrible pictures. Like, you have to really put me in a good lighting to get my picture. That's how I'm black. My mom said the most racist thing yesterday. She's like, you know what I hate about niggers? They, yeah, she started it off like this. She's like, I hate how they dress in all black and then hang out at night. They're just begging to get ran over. And I'm like, Mom, what the hell? That's racist. You can't say that. She's like, I don't care. It's true. It, no, it is. It is. But don't, don't just be like every black person wear all black. It's like, I have a reason why I wear all black. I can't help it. But I don't wear all black. I wear like red and black. But at the same time, I think that's still a badass combination of color. Because it is. People think I'm in like blood or some shit. But <laughs> I just wear it because those are like my two favorite colors. I'm proud of being black. And you know, red is like. Red's a good color. Red is a good color. I love red. That's. I like my first fight shorts. I'm gonna wear like red and black. They're gonna be red and black. My first fight shorts. Nice, man. You gonna go pro? 
I would love to go pro. They, that would be great for me because I don't want to be in a fucking fabric warehouse my rest of my life. So. Yeah, that'd suck. Yeah, it would, but the people there are really good to me, so I can't really complain about it. It's a good job. They pay well. But it's just something that I want to do because like, I think about my kids' future because I didn't go to a good school. I don't. I didn't go to a private school. And the education at Broward County sucks balls. It does. So it's like, you know, I look out. I want to look out for my family. You know, I want my kids to have a nice house. I want them to live in a nice house. I want, you know, I want to get my wife everything she wants. Shit yeah. like that. You know, so. That's good, man. You know, good guy, Jamal. I don't, I, don't, I don't think about me. You know, I don't just think about myself. I think about other people, you know. See, some black people care. All black people care. We just, you know, we just hide it from. The white folks? No, we just hide it deep down. With a lot of anger and toughness, and you know, trying to be something that we're not. You know, we're not all, you know, tough guys and shit. You know, I, I, I know a lot of nerdy black kids. I know a lot of nerdy black kids. I'd be like, damn, you're a nerd. You have my face. But at the same time, I'm a nerd. But I'm a nerd that knows. Like, I'm a fight nerd. I, I like. I watch a lot. Of fights. That's like, good. I, I train. I do martial arts. All that shit. You kick ass at martial arts, dude. I didn't know I was gonna be really good. I thought I was gonna be good. I didn't think I was gonna be that damn good. I didn't yeah. think I was gonna be to the point of good that I could spar high level black belts and hang in there with them. You yeah, know, like make like them with Coker. Yeah, make them look bad a couple of times. You know, bruise them up more than they bruise me sometimes. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I love it too. I, you know, a lot of people they they won't probably they'll stop coming. You know, they'll stop coming over. They'll stop training because they got hurt I come back I, I even train when I get hurt I grab my lip busted and I step on going and I broke the guy I broke the guy down who busted my lip so you know nice you know, that's good one. hey Mickey all right I'm gonna end this video it's cool. getting kind of long it's it like seven long. minutes already and I'm like why is this guy just talking about some random bullshit? all right all right man